Hi everyone, I'm Toke. If you're coming to medical student, I'm going to go to university college of medicine. And in this video, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know on how to get admission to study medicine in Nigeria. They focus on last week because I'm in medical center in last week. And in this video, I'm going to break down the whole admission process. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around for this video. So our first question, do you need to pull last two as your first choice? Yes, it needs to be your first choice. And as a general rule of thumb, any school at all that you want to get admission into needs to be your first choice. Because if you're not your first choice, you're not always considered for admission at all. So make sure you put your school of choice as your first choice, basically. <laughs> if you're not always considered for admission, and it's not too late to change your school. You can still do that up until the school starts giving admission. So make sure your school of choice is your first choice. So question two, what is the jam cutoff mark? So if you check the websites of most schools or if you just browse on Google, they will see cutoff marks like 160 or 170 or 180 or 190, 195. That does not mean that if you have that mark, you just get the course that you want. All that means is that that's the minimum jam score you must have to even apply to that school at all. So obviously for more competitive courses like medicine or law, for instance, you're going to need to have a higher jam score, but you need to have a minimum of whatever jam score you see on their website. I think for last two, it's currently 193. So you need to have a minimum cutoff mark of 190 in jam to even be considered for admission at all, for any course at all. Question three. So what jam score do you need to study medicine? In last two. This question does not have like a straight answer. It depends on a lot of things. Because for last two, your jam score is not the only thing that is meant to be considered. The, the attitude that gets to be considered for your admission to last two, your jam score and your O level results. And those things that need to be compiled to, to get an aggregate. And that aggregate is what will determine if you get the course you want or not. And I'm still going to go into how to calculate that aggregate later in this video. But I think you should have like a jam score of at least 280 and above to study medicine in Lasso. Obviously, if you're going to apply to a federal university, it's going to be much more competitive. So like just 300 and above, basically, for any federal school. But for a state school like Lasso, you can still get by with a jam score of 280 and above, especially if your um, O-level result is like, extremely good, then you're going to be fine. So, the third question is Does Lasso do post UCM? Does Lasso have a post UCM exam? No, Lasso does not, actually. Like I said earlier in the video, Lasso only has two criteria that you check for your um, for admission, which is your. Um, jam results and your O level. I think you have to have credit in English in your O level at least. So those are the only things that I should consider as your O level and your jam results. So last doesn't have a post me. They have a screening that you do. And that screening is basically to call, to calculate your aggregates basically. That is just a, an online screening that's calculate your aggregate. So no last does not have a post system exam. Question four is how do you calculate your aggregate for LASSO? So, to calculate your aggregate, since LASSO has no post the aggregate is 50% from JAM and 50% from your O-level results. So for your JAM side of the aggregate, you're going to divide whatever your JAM score is by 8. So let's assume somebody has 400 in JAM. You're going to divide 400 by 8, and that's going to give you 50. And that's the 50 from the JAM side. And so for the other 50 from the O-level side, you're going to pick your five core subjects for your course. And for medicine, it's going to be math, English, physics, chemistry, biology. So those are your five core subjects. And you're going to give the grades you got in your O-level results max. So A1 is going to be 10 marks. B2 is going to be 9 marks. B3 is going to be 8 marks. C4 is going to be 7 marks and C5 is going to be C, um, 6 marks. Sorry. 
And just a caveat, for medical courses in LASU, you can only use O-level results of one system, meaning you cannot combine like your NECO and WIAC results, for instance. You have to use either like WIAC or NECO for medical courses. That's for medical courses in LASU only, I think. So in med for medical courses in LASU, you have to do like use one system. So it's going to be either your WIAC or your NECO or any other O-level um, exam, I guess. So let's assume somebody had is in all five of their core subjects. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do 10, which is the grade for A, times the five core subjects. And that will give us 50 on our other side. So I hope you understand how started the aggregate for us now. And you may be wondering which aggregates you need for LASU, study medicine LASU. I'm going to say to be on the safe side, just have an aggregate of at least 83. Like, I think that's the, I don't know, 83 or, okay, let me say 80 to 83, 80 and above. So be on the safe side. Make sure you have an aggregate or try to have an aggregate of 80 and above. I think that's what you need for medicine in last one. And our next question is going to be about indigenship. So you've probably heard of indigenship in last two. Like, what does it entail? Do indigenous get special treatment? And all those kind of questions, sir. So I think, but this is like unspoken, so it's not like it's a rule, sir. But as part of the admission process, as part of the screening process for admission in that school, indigenous need to do an indigenous verification. So you do this even before you do the screening we just talked about where you can place your aggregate. So you do your indigenous verification first. And I think indigenous are giving like, like, for instance, if um, non-indigenous have to have a cutoff of 85, then indigenous may also have a cutoff of 83, something like that. So indigenous are, like, giving a little bit more grace, basically, in the admission process. So, yeah, that's all about, like, indigenship. Just do indigenous verif indigen verification. So if you're an indigenous of Lagos State and you want to apply to LASU, you need to do your indigenous verification first before you even do your online screening at all. Okay, so our next question is going to be age requirements. Are there age requirements for LASU? So I think, yes, there are. For LASU, you need to be 16 as at the time when you are even you are doing the online screening. You need to be 16 already, I think. You need to be 16 already as at the time you're going to do the online screening so you don't get disqualified during the screening process. Yes, I think yes, that it seems to be sixteen. I don't know how the new like government law of making sure people are eighteen first. I don't know if it's going to affect Lasso. I'm not sure if Lasso is going to like increase the age requirements to eighteen. But currently it's sixteen. So it needs to be sixteen at the time of the screening. If you guys get disqualified during the screen the screening. So and that question is going to be the next question gets to be the, on the hostel availability in Lasso. Are there hostels in Lasso? So there are no male hostels in Lasso currently, but there are female hostels. However, the female hostels are like few, I guess. Like there's not much space in the hostels. And the hostels are not going to be allocated until school has started, like weeks after school has started. So you may need to stay somewhere first. If you want to stay in school still, you may need to stay somewhere first before school resumes. And you're even able to apply for the hostel at all. The hostels are few. But yeah, you can... That will be when you resume. Anyway, so... Yes, that still has hostels. Female hostels. For few people. Okay, so finally... Let me just give a general run-through of the admission process in Lasso. Okay. So the first thing is you need to make sure that last is your first choice. Make sure that they're your first choice. Very important. They will not even consider your admission at all if you're not your first choice. And make sure you change your school to them. Like make sure you change your first course to last your first choice to last before the admission process starts. That's very important. So first of all, make sure last is your first choice. And secondly, confirm that you met the cutoff mark to be considered for admission at all. And then the third thing is you're going to, if you're an indigent, go for your indigent verif indigent verification. If you're a non-indigent, wait for the online screening. So 
at the point of the online screening, indigenous and non-indigenous do the screening. And then after the screening, you basically just wait for admission. That's it, you wait for admission. And when your admission comes, you pay your acceptance fee, your medical fee, and your school fees. And then you wait for resumption. Yeah, that's basically like a very basic run through of the whole process for the whole admission process to last. So I hope the video was helpful. I hope I explained these things well enough. If you have any questions on any of the things I mentioned or any other in any way, please leave it in the comment section and I will be sure to answer these questions. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Bye.